Hey guys, it's Pamela. I'm back for another video. Oh, my puppy's barking. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. Um, if you see my last video, you'll know that they're doing works out the front of my house and it sets up my dogs. I don't know what they are using, but something that's high pitched that I can't hear that obviously the dogs can hear that's annoying their hearing because they only bark every now and then. But I have a, I have a haul and what I thought about doing is doing like a haul of like what I got during the week because I'm not doing a lot of big shops like I'm not buying a lot of things at one store anymore so I thought I would combine everything and do one video instead of doing like you know five different videos and only showing you one or two items in the video but today I have stuff from the reject shop or well, actually you know what I'm gonna go in list on how I'm going to show you so I've got stuff from Peter Alexander stuff from TK Maxx stuff from the reject shop I've got um, and something from a company called Brands Direct. Let me just go have a look at that company. Sorry, that company is Brand House Direct um, and they sell shoes, but I'm going to show you that anyway. Um, so let's start off with Peter Alexander because otherwise I'm afraid this video is going to be really long and then my son's going to get home and want dinner. So, oh, look how stinking cute that is. Now, I've never bought Peter Alexander pajamas at Christmas time. Like, I always, I say always, but <laughs> technically, I only have bought two pairs of his pajamas. So, Peter Alexander, um, I've only, yeah, sorry, before I go on who he is, I've only bought two pairs of pajamas and I've only ever bought them while they're on sale. They are very, very expensive pajamas, but the quality of them is like so good i have um a set that's inspired by mcdonald's well actually it's a collaboration with mcdonald's and the pants and the jumper went out for five dollars and i grabbed them like five dollars like the pants are originally i think they were like sixty dollars or something like that anyway it's very expensive like i'm not gonna lie this set here did cost me a little bit I actually like feel sick buying it and I'm not gonna yeah so this set here is like a hundred and twenty nine dollars um but if you bought two things you got 20% off each item so I ended up buying this gift set here along with this sleeping mask how stinking adorable <laughs> so it does say here that um we are family. Match your whole family. Peter Alexander. Um, yeah, this is twenty twenty nine ninety five as well. <laughs> um, more money than cents. But I have got two sets of his pajamas. Uh, one I have lived in since uh, March this year. And I've washed it every single week. Like, I literally get home from work, put them on, um, and then do whatever like I wear pajamas around the house I don't care if you judge me it's just comfortable for me I have like I have said many times before I suffer with a lot of um gastro problems like acid reflux and that I find a lot of pressure on my tummy to be really really horrible so pajamas are uh, because they're like so easy and light they don't worry me so it does not flare up. So let's have a look at these pajamas. So you get the cute box. I literally, because I've never bought pajamas before Christmas. So I ended up messaging them and saying, how do I get a box with it? And she was like, if you go on every photo, and because if you don't know this, if you go on the photos and scroll along the photos, at the end photo, it will show you how it comes to you. So if it's in a box, it will show the box. If it's in a bag, it will show the bag. Whatever it's in, it will show you. If there has nothing there, then it doesn't come in anything. And so when I scrolled, it had the box. And I was like, yep, bingo. <laughs> so it is a little magnetic box that opens up. And I don't know if you can see that. It looks adorable. <laughs> Look at this. So this these sizes go from extra small to plus four now i'm a size 18 i was gonna say 20 i'm a size 18 but i get 18 to 20 because you can get 16 or 18 which i think is a size one plus but it's not um it 
it fits me, but it's not loose. And I like my pyjamas loose, obviously, because of my acid reflux problems. So, this is adorable shade of pink. And it's got, like, little love hearts. And then look how, sorry, look how stinking adorable these little gingerbread people are. Oh, my God, they are so cute. <laughs> um, so, I haven't worn it yet. I was doing a video before I wanted to wear it, and I have to wash it. So, I'm... I'm thinking maybe like around the 1st of December I will use these because currently at the moment if I sh can show you properly I can lift the top up. I have um, these ones on that was last year's pyjamas that I got after the after sale. I would like highly recommend buying after after sale because they'll be a lot cheaper but if it's something that you like like a box i don't know if they'll come in the box after christmas like i said i'm only new i don't know how long they've been doing plus sizes um but they do like i think i don't know if it's zero plus one plus two plus three plus four plus but they do bigger sizes so that's cool and these are the shorts like these are the let me just these are the patterns on the shorts it's got peter alexander written on it as well and they look cute um, all of their shorts have a pocket as well. Their pockets are pretty deep, like they're really, really deep in there. And um, their, their cord is actually, um, so it's elastic waist, but this can do up. So if you buy a too big a set, or if it's on sale and you buy the size up that's a bit too big and you lose some weight through the year, you can do it up with the cord as well. The cord actually does work. So I'm not even going to attempt putting those back in the box. I'm just literally going to leave the box there and probably put those there because I've already taken it twice out the box. I'm going to put that like that. I've already taken it twice out the box and it, it's a pain to get back in. But I thought the box would look really cute under my Christmas tree as well. So that's the only thing that I got from Peter Alexander. Now, Peter Alexander is an Australian designer. He does P PJs. Like, he literally does PJs. Um, and they are very expensive. But if you talk to anyone here in Australia, the best time to buy his pyjamas are, like, after Christmas and, like, when they have a couple of sales. And it's worth checking out every now and then because I got my McDonald's pyjamas. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you them quickly. So, these are my McDonald's pyjamas that I literally got for $5. And look at them. <laughs> I don't know which way to put it. There's like a Whopper. Wait, is it a Whopper? No, it's a Big Mac. Big Mac at McDonald's. Whopper is Hungry Jack's. There's like a um, hash brown. There's McDonald's fries. There's an egg and bacon muffin. There's the McDonald's drink. Um, there is an ice cream cone over here. Um, I think that's pretty much all of them. And they're like pink and they're like long as well. And I think I got them for $5. And originally I think the pair of pants were like some crazy price. Like $50, $60 maybe. Like really expensive. And I got that and a jumper for $5 each. And I was like, as soon as I seen it, I checked out. And then I, I was a little bit worried because I hadn't bought pyjamas well, actually, no, I bought pyjamas from him before for the summer one, and I tried it on, and I got I got a three top, a three plus top, and a two plus bottoms. The two plus bottoms fit me fine, but the top, I wish I had gone a two plus now, because they're quite big, but they're roomy, so it's fine. So, yeah, Peter Alexander is an Australian designer. He does ship worldwide, but he also has stores here in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK, but don't quote me on how much postage is going to cost overseas because it comes from Australia. I'm assuming that he's using Australian Post, which <laughs> they are like, they keep putting their prices up. It's like ridiculous expensive. So let's jump into the TK Maxx haul. Then let's jump into the TK Maxx haul. Let's jump into the TK Maxx stuff that I got. So the first thing that I got, it's the first thing I literally seen and I'm like, I have to have it. Like, look how stinking... I'm going to turn the light on, see if that makes a difference. It's a little bit better. How stinking cute is this? It is like... Oh, my God. It's like producing, like, pink. Look how adorable it is. So, this is um, music... Mu I can't even see that. I keep thinking that you can see that. But it's just got um, musical. 
I don't even know who it's from. It's 1999 and it's by a company called Glorious Home Co. LTD China. Made in China. It like it's like a little wind up one as well and it's so adorable and it will fit with all my candy stuff and now I've wind it up it's not going to stop let's put it just over to the side so you can see it a bit better it is like vibing all the colors behind <laughs> it is vibing all those colors the next thing I got was this dish this literally cracked my dad up because he's like why do you want that and I'm like because I don't have one. And then he's like, what are you going to use it for? I'm like, putting in snacks, Dad. Like, it's not a tray that you just put up. Oh, there's like a bunch of... Sorry, I could have like literally seen if that was like clean or not. But it's a bit dirty. I need to wash it before I use it. It's got glitter and stuff in there. But it's by Jingle Jingles and Joy. It's 100% melamine. It's made in China. Um... I don't think it's got anything else written on there. I can't read that fine print. That is so tiny. It was $12.99. And I don't know if I can put it like back without going. Let's turn the light off because I can't really go. Even then I'm not going to get it in. It's huge. And I thought this would be really cool if you put like packets of chips. And then the little ones can have lollies and, uh, and whatnot. Um, it doesn't stand up though so my mum was like oh you can use it as a backdrop behind the gingerbread people but I'm like mum it's not it's not literally gonna fit in you can see how like big it is it's I put a roller up and did a photo of it and it's the, it only went halfway with a 30 centimeter roller so it's about 60 centimeters long but I don't have a long one like all my individual like serving trays like this where you've got sections are quite little so you could never just open a packet of chips and put it in there but this way I can put like bigger packets in there and not have to put bowls out and stuff like that instead of a really big plate the other two things that I got from there is obviously wrapping paper um I love their wrapping paper and I found this brand Clement time and I think if you watch my last TK video TK Max video I did haul some of their paper and uh what is it called their paper and their that is like gone really like oh, hang on it's gone really like light all of a sudden do you know what let me just go and switch the light on that's a bit better I switched the other lights just behind the kitchen there on as well because it's like really dark outside it's so hot today we were sweating at work my manager was like are you hot and I'm like yeah I'm sweating she's like yeah me too and I'm like oh I thought I was having a hot flash like it was like crazy but um yeah this is the brand that I was talking about and I got some more gift paper it is they're both $5.99 this one has gingerbread houses and it's pink it looks really really cute um, I'm wrapping up fake presents. Did I tell you in my last video that that's what I'm doing with it? I did originally plan on maybe putting this on like say um, some gift boxes and then keeping them to use but like it wouldn't work. So now I'm doing fake presents under the tree. So that's one wrapping paper and then I bought this one and this one's the same price. It's by the same company as well and look how sticking adorable it is. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Doodlebug, like Doodlebug um, as in the company um, that does all the scrapbooking stuff. I'm yet to release their stuff for Christmas that I'm hoping to get an order from. But yeah, this is just really cute. I love it. I just like it. I think it's really adorable. And some presents wrap that under the tree with some presents. I wonder if I'm going to sit it there. It's not going to stay there. It's not going to stay there. We'll zoom out a little bit. So... That was what I got from TK Maxx. I only got four items. Like I said, like it's only a little haul with everything in there. Hang on. All right. Didn't post the guy just knocked on the door. My son got a delivery. So, um, yeah, I'm going back to TK Maxx this week though. Like I'm going back Friday. So today is Wednesday. I've got a three hour shift tomorrow and then I've got two days off before I have to work on Sunday. Um, 
so I'm going to TK Maxx on Friday to have a look around again because I'm still after one more gift box like I bought in the last video that I haven't got because that's originally what I went in for and all they had was a brown one and I didn't get it because I was worried that it wouldn't work with all my other like pink stuff and purple stuff but now I wish I had got it so hopefully when I go back on Friday uh, they have some there right stuff from the reject shop now what did I get Alright, first of all, I got a pink sign. Just a Merry Christmas sign. This was uh, $5. It's just pretty. They actually have a bag to match this, and I haven't got it. I'm just going to put it there. I'm just going to start putting stuff in front of stuff so that you can see it. It just got Merry Christmas. It's pink. It matches all my candy stuff. I don't know. I just bought it. And it's got gingerbread houses on it, so it's even better. Now, I did open these. And put them on my girls to see if they fit and also to see if they liked them so um they have a range out of pet stuff and this is happy look at the saying happy how how e days i don't know if i pronounced that right these were five dollars each i'm going to turn off the light again because it seems to be going a bit funny so these were five dollars each and they're like the bandanas that you just like tie up and put around their neck. And my American Staffy, she absolutely loves wearing this kind of stuff. So it says, I believe in Santa Paws on this one. And then the second one that I got, and I'm just going to put it over here because, you know, I don't know where else to put it. The other one I got is too cute for the naughty list and that's for our border collie except <laughs> she managed to get hers off i do not know how i didn't watch her but she is a very fast runner so she zoomed straight past me and i was like sky drop it and she literally just dropped it and kept running because she knew she was in naughty um so she got hers off so i'm not sure if she likes to wear this kind of stuff yet but Miss Abby does, the American Staffy. She loves, like, her collar. But I've had to take it off her while we've got Skye because Skye seems to chew it all off of Abby. And then I put, picked up these really cute little, like, novelty um, pet tags. These are made of acrylic and uh, alloy. They're detachable. They're also $5. And these are only sold by the reject shop. So... I got the little gingerbread man, if, you can, if it's going to focus, the little gingerbread man, I thought he was really cute, of course, you know, because I'm, oh no, these were $3.50, alright, these were cheaper then, um, I like this one, because it says, oh, going to focus, focus, I ate Santa's cookies, I don't know why my phone doesn't focus, like, and then this one is just, too cute for the naughty list so it's the same as um the the bandana but it's just um i was going to put that one on abby because i didn't want to get them the same um but i i, I bought that one because i thought it was cute so then i picked up the oh my god i'm gonna have to go back for these because these are like super big let me get rid of this wrapping paper because you know you've already seen it you don't need to see it again annoying um i got these set of three baskets so this one's got gingerbread bakery written on it it's a really pretty pink and then down the bottom it's just got weaves of like here it looks like a very darker green but it's more like a mint green and these are all sold individually as well so they're not sold as a set you need to buy them separately this one here was twelve dollars and I thought I might put these under my Christmas trees and like you know how you wrap little gifts to people and you like you know they're too little they get lost under the trees it would be perfect to stack little gifts in there but then I also thought maybe on the kitchen bench top we'd like wrap candies or wrap biscuits or stuff that's individually wrapped in them would look also adorable as well so I did get the big one for $12 so let me just put that one I'm not gonna put that one I'm just gonna put it there because ah! and then I went and dropped it all <laughs> oh, it's a long way down to the floor. 
All right, the next one I got was the next biggest one. This was nine dollars, and this is a green with a um, the same pink around it. And this one says official North Pole candy cookies, bread cakes, bakery, fresh fresh baked day, daily. And I thought this one would be cute on your um, bench top with stuff in there just because of the saying on it. So that one was nine dollars. So I'm just gonna put that inside of that one because we're gonna run out of room. And then the next one that I got was just this one. This one was $7. So it's the pink one. It's got a gingerbread and it's just got ho 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 written on it. You know what? I really wish they would have just put like candy lane or something else on there than ho 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 because it is sweet. So I thought maybe and this is purple with the pink, like little pink kind of um what is it called? Like threaded through but yeah they should have put like candy land or something else in there than ho 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 but that's okay we can deal with that so i picked up a set of three of those so like i said originally i thought i put under the christmas tree and then i'm like maybe i put it on my kitchen counter i don't know but if i don't pick them up when i see them they will sell out like i can guarantee you these will be sold out when i went back uh yesterday they only had two left so they sold out pretty good and then the next thing i got was a pair of sketches so I buy I buy a lot of what I think I want for Christmas and then it comes in and my husband's like well you've already seen it so you might as well have it you might as well use it don't class it as your Christmas present just class it as spender money so I'm like okay all right fine then but then I'm like having to find something else for Christmas so I bought these sketches and these are cool these are air cool memory foam I had knee surgery three years no two years ago two years ago now and my knee was pretty bad i waited on a waiting list to get into the hospital to have knee surgery 10 years oh actually it was eight years it blew up quite a longer time because i finally got in just before covid had hit and then they downgraded like all the elective surgeries and all the elective stuff so my knee surgery was then postponed by a year so technically i would have got in there seven years um with the waiting but because of covid and like our government stopping elective surgeries and all of that kind of stuff i couldn't go in and have it done when i finally eventually got it done the doctor turned around to me and said why did you wait so long and i was like well i'm on a waiting list like i'm through public health so i didn't pay for anything if i was through private health i probably would have got in straight away but private health you have to pay money and i don't have money to pay private health um i'm not in the financial boat to do that um plus i've had a lot of experience with the public uh, system and I've had no issues with it at all even with my son having cancer and going through the public system it was fine but I had knee surgery and after I had it done the doctor came in and I so I had it I had it done and I went out the same day got home and that and then like two weeks later I had an appointment at the hospital again and I went back to the hospital and he sat me down and he's like look I don't want to lie to you but you waited too long to have surgery he's like so when we got in there your knee was in really bad shape he's like I'm not going to say to you that you're going to have to have another operation um but down the track you're going to have to look into having another operation not now but down the track he's like but I'm just telling you now your life and uh what you can do with your knee will be depending on yourself and he said like um i'm going to tell you that jobs that you used to do easy before you won't find easy now and it will just be up to you what it does so i can't squat down anymore i can't bend with my knees like my work's a big like health and safety issue and if you going to pick up a big box you're meant to squat with your knees out and like do all that i can't squat with my knees i can't squat at all my knee will not allow me to do it if i do it feels like it's going to break and then it puffs up so i can't do that so i bend with my hips if i have to pick sank off the ground you see my ass sticking up in the air and my front or my my top of my body on the floor i can however get on the floor sit on the floor with my knees crossed i can crawl across the floor i can crawl across my bed i can do all of that i can like literally just be on like 
like in a crawling position and just like stand up like with my leg like my bottom of my legs bent like I can do all that I just can't squat like it's so bizarre and it hurts all the time like it hurts so um I think I'm almost at my wits end with how much it hurts so I probably will need surgery on it soon so anyway that's a <laughs> that's a long story that's why I buy sketches sketches and crocs are the two shoes that don't aggravate my knee um everything else aggravates my knee I bought my husband actually bought me a pair of Nikes um so I had the surgery in October no when was it I had the surgery in August and I think October November no yeah no hang on I had the surgery in August I didn't go back to work until like November I that's how long I had to have off. Apparently, I was going to be walking out of hospital fine, but I ended up having to have, like, um, what was it, August, September, October, November. Yeah, I had three months off of work. Like, it was a long period of time. I was I was more angry about it than anyone else because I knew that, like, this wasn't meant to be on, but whatever. Um, so, my husband bought me a pair of Nikes uh, for Christmas that year, and... Uh, I can be in them for all of about five minutes before my knee really aches. So I've always said to my mum, I will know a good brand shoe <laughs> if I put them on and I can last longer than five minutes in them. If I last longer than five minutes, I know it's a good shoe. Crocs, I'm in my Crocs 24-7 when I'm not in bed and when I'm not at work. And I'm in Skechers when I'm outside of my house, like when I'm at like work or out shopping I'm in sketches so I bought another pair of sketches and these were on sale these were like really cheap they were like $65 I'm a sucker for white shoes this is like well they say it's white but oh yeah I'll tell you how much these were because I've got the uh the information here no I don't no I don't it's just how you send them back all right, sorry about that. I had to go see how much these were. So these shoes here, oh, I don't know why, but I love, I love buying white shoes. So these are like, okay, they are pretty big. I'm like a size nine, nine and a half in USA. Um, so I've got pretty big feet. You know what? It's kind of funny though, because when I met my husband, I have shoes. Like I can't wear them now. They're high heel shoes that I absolutely love. And they're all like, size eight or eight and a half and for some reason i'm now up to a nine and a half i don't know if shoe sizes are getting smaller or my feet are growing who knows <laughs> who knows but i bought these shoes so these were 60 uh, sorry 75 dollars i had a 10 dollar coupon so it bring it down to 65 dollars these were originally 140 originally 140 so I, I got them way under half price um, they feel comfortable I have put them on um, just to test them before I have them I don't usually go like these so these are still got the thing in the shoe so these are are they the air controlled memory foam and I think they say air control because like they've got like some little holes down here that the air flows in um, these are not, however, these are not um, mem arch support. I have, I always choose arch support in sketches. A lot of my work shoes, are all, all my work shoes are arch support. I do have a couple of pairs of sketches that are not arch support. I can wear them. Um, however, I can't wear them like while I'm on my feet, like for an eight hour shift or a nine hour shift. I can't wear them if I'm on my feet for that long but anything with uh, sketches that are a typically um, arch control I can wear for eight hours but I just wear these out if I'm going out to a party or if I'm going out shopping um, so they're not technically work shoes so they won't get as dirty um, the cool thing I like about these is they are machine washable so um, you know to help bacterial build up you only have to use cold water on a really gentle cycle um, and it can be washed with clothes but you do need to air dry them you can't put them in the air dryer in the clothes dryer um so 
what I tend to do is wash them when it's the summer months because I have some white sketches at the moment that are getting kind of grotty and I need to wash them now that the weather's warming up. I probably can go and do that. But this is my whole entire haul for this one. Like I said, I bought these for Christmas, but my husband's like, well, you might as well have them now because, you know, you already know you're going to get them and you're going to probably use them before Christmas. So this is my whole entire haul for this week. Um, well for last week and part of this week next week however um, I don't think I will have as much but I have done three Timu orders so I think the last one has just been sent so I'll have some Timu hauls coming up but I'll also go to TK Maxx on Friday so I might pick up some other things I'm going to come back and do a food haul that I've got so far for Christmas because I think that that would be really cool to do because I watch a lot of ladies and guys in America go to shops and buy Christmas Christmas uh, like what is it Christmas kind of inspired food and so I thought let's do a little video on that so I can show you guys what I got here in Australia so thank you for tuning in as always like comment subscribe and I will see you next video bye